So we're outdoors trying to save water. Why am I sitting in the corner of this house? Well, I'm looking at the back of a washing machine, believe it or not. This black hose is the outflow pipe from the pump of the washing machine. It's an old top load clothes washer, which would produce about 40 gallons of water each time a load of laundry is run. Ordinarily, that water goes into the septic tank. However, in this case, by simply connecting a hose, we can divert this water into a landscape application, or we can put it into storage tanks for future use. So in our backyard, we have a number of plants that do require additional water. They're in pots. As the wind picks up, the temperature increases, they require supplemental water. Rainfall will not be enough. To accomplish that watering, we store water from the washing machine in four 55-gallon drums. Those drums store enough water to keep this backyard alive and thriving in periods of low rainfall. Stored water from the washing machine, is it good quality? Well, of course it is. Put on the plants you've just seen, they're thriving. A quarter or two every third day is all we need. For those of you who are new to cycling water from the washing machine, two issues come to mind. One is the use of detergents. Will that harm my plants? Well, most of the detergents you buy today will be of low phosphate variety. So no issue with the plants. Secondly, by virtue of washing clothes, cotton is stripped off of clothes and produces lint. The lint could clog your sprinkler system if you try to run it. And if you're interested in the quality of this water, is it safe to use, I'd refer you to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. The TCEQ does authorize the use of gray water from a washing machine for use outdoors. Another source of water that can be found out of doors is the condensation that can be collected from the air conditioner. On a hot, humid day, 8 to 10 gallons per day can be collected. And instead of running it out in the landscape, save it to water your plants. So one way to use this water we've stored from the condensation is grab our bucket. And with our bucket, we're going to water a couple ferns. These hanging baskets, water's running out of them. I can hear it. You may be able to hear it also. But a better way to do it is take our ferns and just drop them in that storage container. Within a few minutes, the bubbles will stop, the ferns are fully watered, and we can take them out Go about our business, and also notice how little water has been taken out of this container.